Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted, we read in Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. This is the second in a list of nine beatitudes that Jesus is lining out here, describing life in the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn. Now, as I've been reflecting on this particular verse, I got to tell you that I am having several different reactions to it in no particular order. One of these reactions is just to observe that in the eyes of the world, this verse is crazy talk. Our world avoids mourning and grief with a passion. We are up to our necks in various strategies for denial and avoidance of anything that remotely resembles grief. We distract ourselves, we numb ourselves, we spend a whole lot more time working, we develop addictions of all kinds, you name it. Our world thinks grief work is crazy. A second reaction I'm having is that this verse has very much been my experience in the last week. One week ago, on November the 7th, my father, George Ramsey, died. And my dad's death is hitting me really, really hard. Tears are catching me at all kinds of what seem to be kind of random moments. I am in a period of mourning right now. What is also very clear to me is that I am also in a period of being comforted. I am being comforted by the astonishing gentleness and kindness of friends from the congregation, from neighbors, friends from long, long ago. I'm being comforted by the knowledge that my dad is now out beyond all pain. And I'm being comforted by the presence of God with me in all of this. What is really interesting to me about this is that the comfort that is coming to me does not take away the mourning. The comfort does not erase or override the grief. It comes alongside of the grief. And a third reaction that I'm having is that my sense that the ministry of processing grief is at the heart of the church's calling during this time. There is a lot of work to do in our world and we need to be about that work, but we must not allow the work to become a busy way for us to avoid grieving the losses that are around us. So much is changing so fast in our world there is so much pain and alienation, so many deaths from the pandemic, so much hostility. Confidence in our institutions is dropping. There is work to be done in each of these, but there is also a whole lot of loss in them. And loss cannot be fixed or solved loss must be grieved. Loss lives in us at a level that is beneath all of our polarization. We need to be patient with each other as we are grieving the different losses that are accumulating around us. We need to notice the things that we're sad about and we need to mourn them. If we do not grieve some significant loss that happens to us. Something inside of us will grow hard and grow brittle. If we don't grieve a loss, whether the loss of someone significant in our lives, someone that we love, or the loss of some facet of life that we have treasured and enjoyed, if we don't mourn those losses, our grief our unacknowledged grief can harden and can turn to anger and to rage. Losses need to be acknowledged and honored and they need to be mourned. And when we do the work 
of mourning our losses and grieving, what we will find is that comfort is somehow given in the midst of all of that. Friends, have a good week and we'll see you soon.